Alexa, turn on Avatar Smart Bulb. Alexa, set Avatar Smart Bulb to green. Alexa, set Avatar Smart Bulb brightness to 100%. Alexa, turn off Avatar Smart Bulb. Hey Google, turn on Avatar Smart Bulb. Okay, turning on Avatar Smart Bulb. Well, set Avatar Smart Bulb to 10% brightness. Okay, setting Avatar Smart Bulb brightness to 10%. Hey Google, set Avatar Smart Bulb to purple. Sure, changing Avatar Smart Bulb to purple. Hey Google, turn off Avatar Smart Bulb. Sure, turning off Avatar Smart Bulb. Hello, my name is Caroline. In this video, I am setting up the Avatar Smart Bulb and I'm going to do a quick unboxing and then I'm gonna get it set up with my Amazon Echo and my Google Home device. Now, let's get started. And now we'll unbox the Avatar Smart Bulb, remote control, Wi-Fi connection, set timers, voice control, and scan the app right here. And these are the specs. All right, let's open this up. And here it is, this is the bulb. Here are the instructions. User manual. Get our smart bulb installed into our lamp. Excellent. I'm gonna plug in the lamp. Woo, okay, it is bright. All right, moving this out of the shot just slightly. And we are going to get this set up on our avatar app. Now, if you're not familiar with the Avatar app, and I've shown it to you in a previous video, I'm gonna scan the QR code on the side of this light bulb package. And it's right here, and I'm gonna try to scan, and that's how you get to the app really easily. And it takes you to this little website. I'm gonna turn this off for a second. And then you should install the Avatar Controls app. And if you haven't done so already, I have did that in a previous video. I will link to it below if you wanna see me download and install the Avatar Controls app. It's, it's super self-explanatory. I'm gonna hit open, but otherwise you would just hit install. And then I wanna add a new device. Now, how do I get this device into a kind of pairing mode or ready to merge with my app here? I'm gonna look at my instruction manual. So let's turn it on and let's see if it is flashing two times a second. There it goes. What I did to get to this state is I turned it off and on a few times. I'm gonna hit the plus button. I'm gonna hit auto scan. Now let's see if it will find this device. There it is, smart bulb. I'm gonna hit next and it is already connected to my Amazon Echo device. I'm gonna change the name to cat and mouse. Save, oh it is now cat and mouse. Hit done, applied successfully, turn it off. Oh, there it is, turn it back on again. And I can do white mode, I can change the brightness. And this is all from the Avatar Controls app. Color mode, and change the color with the app. Very nice, saturation brightness, change all of that. Excellent, so it works. And it is updating the firmware in the middle of my video. Oh, this is awesome. We're gonna let this firmware update. It should be done here in a second and then we're gonna get it integrated with our Amazon Echo and then our Google Home. All right, excellent, firmware update is successful. So I'm gonna turn this off for a second. In the Amazon app, we are going to, it. I think it already discovered it because I've already matched my account. I did this in a previous video. Go to skills and games, then you wanna do a search on avatar controls. And from there, you want to enable the skill. You wanna log in to your avatar account you just created with the avatar app. And then you'll be able to control all of your devices that you control with the Avatar app. Now, I've already done this, so it says settings. Then I think it automatically found my device. Let's see, it says five devices discovered. And let's see, cat and mouse. <laughs> I'm running out of names now. And the power is off and power is on. All right, so let's try this with the Echo. Turn cat and mouse on. There it is, all right. Uh, turn cat and mouse off. Set cat and mouse to red. Set cat and mouse to 5% brightness. Turn off cat and mouse. 
and now it works with Amazon Echo. Let's do the same thing with the Google Home app. So now we're gonna go over to Google Home and I'm gonna hit the plus button. I'm going to set up a device, have something already set up, works with Google, excellent. Avatar control, seven devices, and I'm gonna check for new devices. And all right, cat and mouse smart light. I'm gonna hit next, and that's my house. And let's see, what room am I in? I'm gonna choose the, the basement next. That should do it. I'm gonna say, oh, turn on basement. Got it, turning on cat and mouse. I'll set cat and mouse to blue. Sure, changing cat and mouse to blue. Well, turn off basement. Got it, turning cat and mouse off. What you just witnessed there is if you set a room for your smart home device and you say turn off or turn on, it will turn off all the devices in that room or turn on all the devices in that room. That's another way of being able to control your devices that Google Home automatically does for you. And that's because you've set it up in a group. So actually the Amazon Echo actually kind of does the same thing. It does ask you to put it in a group and set the group for anything you want. And then when you say turn on, X group that it will do that. I just thought I'd show that as an example in this video instead. And that is it for this video. We have set up our smart bulb. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye now.